Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about how you should start learning any new technology or any new language. I know many of you have the question like from where should I start? How should I start? And you know, I came across so many questions like this. So today I thought I should make a video on this and I, I should show you a complete roadmap how you can start your preparation if you are trying to learn something new with the help of any, you know, uh, the mentor. Because most of you are learning by yourself in the industry, whatever you do, you learn it by yourself. Nobody is helping you out. You know, nobody will help you out in the things in learning new things. So you are the master of yourself. So let's get started. Before starting, let me introduce myself to those who are new to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Amita Singh and I'm a full stick developer working in Verizon. I have also worked in Cognizant. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I will highly recommend you to please press the subscribe button because on this channel, you'll find so many informative videos related to companies recruitment process, their previous question paper and of course, how you can crack any interview and the complete guideline, the complete career guideline I'll provide you. So let's get started how you should start learning something new, some new technology or some new language. Suppose I want to today, uh, I'm not familiar with Java today. I want to start Java from where should I start? How should I start? Okay, let's talk about that. We'll discuss about that and we'll discuss about the failure, how people start learning something new because I came across so many questions like, ma'am, I started this uh, learning this uh, language, but the end, res end result are not good. Means I'm not still, I don't find myself good in that language. I'm not comfortable in that language. I'll tell you why you are not comfortable in some languages. Okay, we'll discuss on that. We'll discuss on this problem, and we'll we, I'm, I'll provide you my solution for this, and I'm sure it will really help you out. Before starting, let's think about the school time. How we used to study. Okay, you must be thinking why I'm asking that. See, the reason is. While we were in the first standard or second standard, when, when there was no internet or there was nothing, in the school, how the teacher used to say, if you read this entire book, every question will be coming from there. So we used to read the entire book and uh, at the end of the final exam in the class test, whatever the test is, we used to get good marks, right? Whoever is studying, in, uh, you know, from that book, they used to get good marks, right? So that was strategy that time. Okay, even still it is there. If you read from this book, you will pass the exam. But what is now? Like what after school? What, af what is there after school? Nobody is here going to tell us, read this content and you will clear the interview for this company. Read this content and you will be master in this te technology. You read my content and you will be very good or you'll, you'll be an architect in, you know, something XYZ. So today, everything is in our hand. We have to think, we have to, you, you know, make a plan and we have to make our roadmap to learn something new and to start something new. Because in the, you know, evolution, with the evolution, we have to be in the same race. If you want to be in the same race, then you need to go ahead or you need to work more and more on the different technologies. You need to keep on learning. Your learning should not stop. Okay, for that, how you can learn? Many people are struggling with learning new technologies or new language. Let's discuss about the problem. So today's problem is we have so many content on the internet. We have so many videos. We have so many articles. We have so many good websites where we can learn any new technology. But everybody has access to the same, same website, same content, same video, same, everything same, same article. But why few people are able to grasp it quickly? They are able to, uh, you know, make a web app or anything else, or they are doing certification in that. Why somewhere 70% of the population, 70% are struggling in learning something new. Though I won't say they are not able to complete that. They are not able to learn that, but they are facing a struggle in learning something new. So let's talk about that. So problem is very clear. 
that we have so many content it's very difficult to decide which one is best for me nobody is going to tell you maybe some content is best for me some videos i am able to understand maybe for that level of understanding you will not be able to understand just take an example some are very professional they are teaching uh, on youtube some are very you know young and uh, you know they have just started teaching but you know the way of teaching how people have different way to teach you know other you know the student or the viewers but the thing is the content of everybody is same okay you have to decide whatever suits you i want to comment on that that take this uh, tutorial or take watch this uh, videos i'm not going to tell you first decide a good content the best whichever suits you now let's see what you should do with that content now the first thing whether whether you are a reading lover or watching tutorial lover whatever your way so every people has different choices so okay so suppose i'm you know i'm fond of reading the things and uh, to learn something new i'm i'm fond of reading books or i'm fond of uh, reading uh, through the website good websites or i'm fond of watching tutorials and learn some new technology okay fine everybody is doing like this only everybody starts like this only but here's the difference how much time you are spending in reading or watching those tutorial how much time maybe you have started it today and you are completed by uh, by uh, this week maybe in a one week two week three week you are taking your time you are doing it sometime you practice yes you are practicing it well and you are good to go but trust me until or unless you will not get to know how much time you should spend in reading and you uh, how much time you should spend on in watching the tutorials kuch bhi nahi ho payega सिर्फ देखने से सिर्फ रीड करने से कुछ नई चीज नहीं आ जाती है सो टू नो और टू अंडरस्टैंड सम न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज और टू बी अ मास्टर इन समथिंग द ओनली वन थिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इन टूडेज आईटी इंडस्ट्री दैट इज प्रैक्टिस सो हाउ मच टाइम यू शुड स्पेंड इन रीडिंग और वॉचिंग द टूटोरियल आई वुड से थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ यम 30% time in reading or watching the tutorial and 70% around 70% of your time should be in practicing the content okay what about suppose ma'am you what are you saying if it is a introduction means i would be spending 70% of time in typing hello world no i'm not saying like this i'm simply saying just like in school we used to have chapters right and we have given like one year you have to complete these all chapters maybe 20 chapters or 30 chapters we were given one year but you have to give at least a month is enough to learn something new to be at least uh, you know to have a good understanding in something one month is enough to learn something new technology so i have decided i have create an agenda for one month distribute the topic in chapters like we used to have in the ncert books introduction part i'll be covering these these topics in this chapter 2 i'll be covering these these topic chapter 3 i'll be covering these these topic now the question is how can i decide what topic i should include in chapter 1 take an example take a help of hacker rank okay now hacker rank there is a there is a option there is a different chapters you can see and you can see the level high medium or tough or you can see the solve and solve question whatever checked all the you know check box and from the topics select the first one okay now read the content the first chapter should include all these topic after reading this chapter take your time start is very it should be very smooth your start should be very smooth don't be in hurry buri to learn something new okay just take your time because the end result will be very fast you learn at the end you will be learning very fastly so starting will be very slow maybe uh, you'll take a whole day in writing at least a one program maybe you can take a time if you are a beginner you have no idea about anything it's okay it's fine if you, even if you are taking one week in learning uh, till you know before class or whatever at the topic Uh, before reaching to the third topic if you are taking one week or two week in learning only the first three you know topics it's it's fine take your time start will be always smooth and very slow 
but it's okay now what you did you read the content or you watched the tutorial suppose i will watch only five top five videos then after that i'll practice those exactly those content by myself now now practice like not watching the video and practicing watching the video and practicing it should not be like this it will be called cheating you should not cheat yourself so while practicing if you have watched if you have wa stopped watching complete five videos if you have completed it then take a break okay now jo don't focus on those big videos you know simultaneously now create your web app or create your content whatever programming they were teaching or whatever web application they were making try to make it by yourself with the first five tutorial what they did summarize it in copy with pen or paper what he taught me like this we need to do like like this way this way this way now implement the same thing in the form of any program if you are programming language if you are learning or if you are learning some web application you can do like this way so first thing watch this tutorial at least five five uh, you know five videos at a time not more than that or few chapters through the web in the uh, you know from the website you can learn and practice those content either on the hacker rank or practice it by yourself uh, if you if there is some web, web development is your learning like react or node js whatever they have, they have taught you just summarize it in the copy and practice those the complete the exact thing and you can practice more and more if they have develop some web app that is related to some uh, library management you can design it by yourself some hospital management some banking system management like this way try to develop more and more so it's like web development for web development and for learning the programming language take the hacker and questions take each and every questions don't skip any and if you are not able to you know solve any questions don't directly jump into the answer spend some time think about it think 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 give at least 15 to 20 minutes yeah 15 20 minute half an hour it's very tough to give you know to start but in the beginning at least you should you know give yourself a little bit of time then you will if you will struggle struggle in learning the you know in the starting then the end result will be trust me it will be very good so if you are not able to do any program or if you if you are struggling with in uh, you know writing some program just think about the logic where you are lacking what could be the function i you know or what could be the you know method i would have used then it should run why it's not running think about it think about it take your time think learn more. again go to the chapter and learn it where i am lacking why i am not able to do this think about it then if it's not working out it's not working out then see the answer how people have approached it okay this is the way not like okay copy paste yeah it's working it's fine how oh, he did you know uh, you know in the right way no you don't have to do like this just go and check it how he has implemented what was his approach you do it okay now see in the there is a there is a section called you know in the comment there is a discussion section there you can see so many different approach how people have approached the same problem in a different way in the hacker rank i'm talking about so with the help of you know their you know approach is you can try their approach you try to implement it so that's that's the only way you can learn and you can end up in learning the new technology or new language soon it will be struggling starting will be very slow trust me starting will be very slow but end result will be so good if you are agree with me just put uh, you know press thumbs up and you can in the comment section you can write your views on today's video whether it was helpful for you or not okay so that's all about a complete road map how you should start learning some new technology or new language and you can now correlate with you you can correlate with this video like where you were lacking in learning something new it's very tough to start but the end result will be good and trust me on that so before giving up just take a trial go and read some content and let's see if it works for you if it works for you then please do let me know 
Okay, thank you for watching. Hope, th hope this video was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and press the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.